Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to implement paging in GridView in ASP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. This is my web.config file and this is my connection string. I am connecting to the Northwind database. On the right hand side, you will see a link to the video which explains how to download and install the Northwind database. So let's start. First, I am adding a grid view control. Now I am adding columns to the grid view control. I will be adding 4 bound fill columns, customer id, contact name, city and country. All these 4 columns belongs to the customers table of the Northwind database. So our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. So first I'm adding the namespaces. System.data System.data.sql client I'm using ADO.net and finally System dot configuration. Now I am writing a function bind grid which will be used to populate the grid view. This function will be called at two places first in the page load event and second inside the on page index changing event handler. Now I am fetching the connection string from the web.config file. Now I am creating an object of SQL connection class. As you can see, I am making use of using statement. Using statement is required when you want to destroy your objects as soon as the work is done. And it is also considered as a good programming practice. So I would recommend that you also make use of using statements. Next I am making use of SQL command object in which I am defining the SQL query which will fetch the four columns we have used in GridView from the customers tables of the Northwind database. Now I am creating an object of SQL data adapter class. SQL data adapter will be used to fill the data table with the data which is fetched from the database. And SQL data adapter is also used in disconnected architecture where we are not opening and closing the connection. The SQL connection is assigned to the connection property of the SQL command and the SQL command is assigned to the select command property of the SQL data adapter. 
now I am creating a data table object. The data table object will be filled using the data adapter. And finally, the data table is assigned to the grid view. So our function is ready. Now in the page load event, I am writing the notice postback condition, which is very important when we are doing paging for the grid view. Now let's call this function inside the page load event handler. Now let's run the code and check it. As you can see, the grid view is now displaying the records from the customers table. Now let's move to the second part, which is paging. So here I am setting allow paging property to true. Then I am setting the on page index changing event handler. and I am setting the page size to 10. Now let's move to the code behind. Now I am defining the on page index changing event handler. This event is triggered when you click on the page number in the pager of the grid view. The page number which you have clicked is received here and it is set in the page index property of the grid view. As you can see now I am setting the page index property. Finally, we will bind the grid view again using the bind grid method. So our event handler is ready. Let's run the code and check it. As you can see, the grid view is displaying the data page wise and our paging is working perfectly. So this way we come to the end of the video. The source code and the demo links are available in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.